We're now ready to start our first titration, but the first titration we're going to run is actually something called a rough titration. A rough titration is just something that's going to be quite fast and we just want an estimate of how much volume we need. The reason for that is because if this is going to be an assessment, you don't want to waste time squeezing out single drops at a time just to get a single tidal volume. Anyway, let's go ahead and start reading off our burette. To do that, I have a white piece of paper and I've also drawn a black line on the other side. The reason I do that is because if I only had a white card or white piece of paper, yes, I can see the meniscus, but by adding a bit of black at the back, it actually darkens the curve in my burette and makes it a lot easier to read. If you haven't tried it before, try it. So I'm gonna put my card at the back and I'm gonna read off my burette. And I'm going to read to two decimal places and I'm going to make a note to myself that this was just a rough titration. Before I start, I want to double check. I also want to make sure of a few things. You'll notice that I've got two flasks prepared. I'm actually not going to use this one. I'm going to keep this off to the side. The reason I do that is because I want to keep this original yellow color because it's going to make it so much easier when I get closer to the end point to compare the color in this other flask to my original color. The other thing I'm also going to make a note of is to just quick do a quick eye scan up and down my setup. I want to make sure that there's nothing leaky. I want to make sure that there's no drops hanging off the side. I also want to make sure that my be bench is nice and clean. In particular, I want to make sure that my pipette's in a secure location and it's not just going to roll off because when I'm titrating, my attention is going to be down here and across to where my flask is as well. I don't want to have to waste my time worrying about any other bits and bobs. Okay, so let's move our flask in carefully. I'm going to just readjust my burette a wee bit off to the side just so I can get a more comfortable grip. Remember, you want security, you also want some comfort. To be honest, during a titration, you shouldn't actually feel like you're straining yourself too much, okay? I am also going to lower my burette a little bit. The reason for that is because during a titration, I want to reduce the amount of splashing that goes on inside my flask. By reducing the amount of splashing in my flask, it also reduces um, how many drops I end up getting coated on the outside of my flask. There should be no drops along the outside. The less drops on the walls of that flask, the less I have to wash it down using my wash bottle. So since this is a rough titration, we're going to go for quick drains, okay? And we're going to go for quick swirls as well. This is also a really good chance for you to just practice and get that muscle memory back in your arm for your um, titration as well because later on you're going to have to squeeze out single drops. So I'm adding liquid in squirts at a time. You can see that the color change where I've gone too far is pink because pink is when my uh, flask is going to be too acidic. Now I'll know when I'm close when that pink color takes longer and longer to disappear. So that last uh, swirl actually took a lot longer than my initial swirl. If you weren't sure, just rewind this video and have a look for yourself. Now at this point, you might be thinking, well, should I start using the wash bottle? Well, my answer to that is that this is a rough titration. I'm not too fussed out about that at the moment. I just want an estimate of that volume. So let's just go ahead and keep adding squirts at a time. Ooh, and that is actually too far. But before I continue, I'm just going to wash this down. I'm going to touch the tip of my burette to the, to the wall of the conical flask. I'm going to put that back and then I'm going to wash down the part where it was on my conical flask and bring that down. Now this, this is actually um, an interesting color. It might be a little bit too, on the, too much on the pinker side, which is too far, but that's still fine. I'm still going to record this volume because who knows, maybe I'm one of those one in 100 people where I'm so lucky that I get the exact volume. No, nah, maybe not. Anyway, we're reading off with the card. I'm using the black line to darken the curve. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Remember, this was just a rough titration, but I am still actually recording my results. I am still noting to myself that this is a rough titration, but it tells me that for my next uh, titration that I do, 
it lets me know like roughly how much volume that I'm going to use next time. It lets me know whether or not that I need to refill my burette. In this case, I don't need to refill my burette. I can actually keep going. Now, before I start my second, uh, sorry, my second flask, I am actually going to prepare this other flask as well. And preparing this flask is just like in my other video where I prepared my first two flasks.